All right, this is the moment that every mixed martial arts athlete hopes will materialize. The number one heavyweight contender making the walk for his first title fight here in the U.S. I mean, the nerves are going crazy for this man right now. He's so nervous. Has he done everything he needs to do? Has he not left any stone unturned? He says that he has prepared. He says that his body's ready. His mind's ready. He feels physically good in the spot. He's taking on a long-rated champion. If he's going to get this done, it's going to take something truly special. He does not believe jitters will be a factor here tonight. He has built his career methodically to this point. We'll see if we hear the words and new by Nita. put you out with 10 ounce gloves, landing with four ounce gloves in the UFC octagon. Mike is fast, Mike has great setups, and Mike has a meanness about him that not many others have. You better be careful fighting Iron Mike Tyson. He is ferocious, and seemingly the speed and power are still there at his advanced age. Mike Tyson trying to make headway here in the UFC tonight. Mike Tyson. Steps inside the octagon. He is ready to fight. And now let's get you our tail of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. Here's Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Heavyweight Championship of the World. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the challenger, Big Bang. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending USC heavyweight champion of the world, Mike Tyson! Herb Dean, third Ready. party in the octagon Ready. tonight. Good. All right, so here he is, formerly the baddest man on the planet, former boxing heavyweight champion, Iron Mike Tyson, look for him to move forward. You know the flurries are coming. He'll employ that signature peekaboo style as he tries to get inside. Takedown defense could be tested, I and mean, that's what opponents are going to be looking to do. They're going to try to take Mike Tyson down. Easier said than done. Don't blink or you'll miss this fight. Left-right combo is good. Oh, good block there. problem getting inside to land that straight punch. He's got a huge edge in reach, and he made good use of it there. It's just a really high pace, too. It's a really high striking pace for these two. Oh, that body shot hurt him. He better get his elbows in. He cannot take this many strikes to the body. Big left hook coming. It's blocked. Feeling out process, folks. Here we go. Edge of your seat action right out of the shoot. These dudes are trading very early in this fight. This is good. Oh, man, these are hard. He's looking for that left hand. Not there. Nice jab by him there. He's going nose hunting tonight, huh? Yeah, he's great with the jab. 
not only as a setup, he really is trying to get damage off every time he throws the punch. Oh, tags him with the straight. Nice job there by Tyson. Two minutes have expired in our opening round. Ooh, found a home for that knee. Well, he's certainly keeping busy, DC, connecting with most of the punches he's thrown. I mean, punches and bunches. He's doing a great job. Champ, look at that redness underneath his elbow. A lot of those strikes to the body starting to pile up. Getting beat up and being smart enough to not be headhunting the entire time. I like this. I like this approach. Looking to establish the jab here. Nicely done by Tyson. So he needs to mix it up. He needs to start kicking more. Big right hook coming. It's locked. Oh, nice slip there to avoid the punch by Tyson. Oh, there's that switch kick. And there he goes, wins another combination. His cardio is so good that, is, that it allows him to put forth this type of output and pace. When his opponent is done at two, he is stringing together four, five, six more different strikes. You don't do that without having fantastic cardio. Under two minutes now to go in round one. Oh, and he lands another knee there, DC. He talked a lot to us about his length and his size advantage. Doesn't always pay to be the taller fighter. In this instance, it certainly did. A oh, really good job by him there to raise the guard, DC, and block those shots coming his way. He does a great job of blocking all in front of strikes. Nice punch to the head. Oh, and he lands again. All right, there it is. Yet another strike targeting that already bruised area on his body. Well, you can tell that he had a purpose to come out here, make an investment, and see how it would play out. It seems to be working right now. Oh, massive kick lands flush. Nice defense there. Huge block. sides here so he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here these are going to take their toll as this fight goes on caught the kick under 30 seconds well he's looking for that left hand just out of range though with it all right so look at that a cut has been opened around that eye area he's taking shots over and over again to that area and now he's dealing with a cut 10 seconds to go in the round both fighters throwing heat now round two coming up next All right, so a crowd-pleasing five minutes in the books. DC, take us through some of the highlights. Punch after punch landed right on his opponent's face. Did a great job of finding his target, locking in, and then getting, the, getting his fist to the target in that round. You ready to fight? Ready. Go. All right, round two. All right, here we go with our next round, DC. Pretty good game plan in the previous round. Attack the body to great effect, and we'll look to continue to do so here. He has done... Oh, that's a good run. Tyson's overhand telegraph, though, it gets blocked. Well, I'm no fighter, but if I rock a guy to that extent, I feel like I'm closing the show. Absolutely. You got to go close the show if you get a guy hurt that bad. It's not that far. Take your time. He's right for the picking. Go and pick the fruit. <laughs> oh, he lands another strike to the body. Really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the ladder round. Oh, nice job to block that punch.
Ooh, nice uppercut from the champ. All right, so a seminal blow earlier in the round. It wasn't a knockdown, but it was certainly a stunner that caught his attention. Oh, I mean, he got hurt bad. To see him still standing, that just goes to the toughness that he has to be still standing after taking such a damaging shot. Looks like someone took a red sharpie to his side. A lot of bruising courtesy of those body strikes. Well, big kicks, big punches. He's doing everything he told us he intended to do to slow this guy down. And you can see his opponent starting to really be labored in most of his movements. Oh, they're trading good shots here. We'll see who's the last man standing. Slips to avoid the right. Well, thank God the left one's open, because that right eye is really starting to shut. Oh! Still plenty of time to go here, round two. Straight punch, useful. Oh, a huge block there. Nice one-two combination there. All right, so he finally gets the takedown here. He kept on trying, stayed committed. He told us before the fight, at some point, I'm gonna be able to take him down, and that's exactly the way it played out. Now he's going full mount. Oh, he got to the spot. He needs to better move. move. Yeah, he's gotta move, John. He's gotta shrimp and try to either get up or pull his opponent back into him so he doesn't have the posture to land that big damage. Oh, and he escapes up to his feet. Very nice. Well, he's really seeing things well offensively here tonight, and he's caused a lot of swelling there on his opponent. You gotta address this now, because it's only going to get worse. Your opponent is not gonna let you, let you off the hook. You gotta move, you gotta change something to try to deter him from going to that spot. doling out a lot of damage and neither seems too bothered by it but clearly both parties are hurt both guys are hurt both guys are fighting beautifully both are showing a lot of heart right now in this fight they're both doing amazing jobs let's see who gets the job done at the end of this thing nice one two there he's got a cut above the eye now oh nice slip there it sounds simple right hit and don't get hit but this guy's defense has been sharp tonight. cat and mouse you gotta play cat and mouse hit don't get hit he does a great job of that well that left hand has been there at times not on that attempt nice nicely done throwing that jab no good well until his opponent adjusts you might as well keep going with it as he continues to land a high volume of strikes in this one, DC. Well, you don't want to be stuck on your feet with a bump. Oh! oh, he might be out! Well, we may have the best cut men and women in the business, but I'm not sure they're going to be able to do much with that cut. It continues to ride in with every passing strike. And you're fighting a great fight. It's hard to deal with the damage of the cut while dealing with the level of the fighter in front of you. Right now, you've got to do something different to try and change the way that this fight is playing out. All right, round three coming up next. Stop, stop, stop. All right, so the round is over, and you see some obvious bleeding now. Looks like the cut is on the nose. Yes, it is. Cutman will try to get in there and shut it, but of course, as soon as he absorbs a strike this next round, that thing could reopen. Certainly bears watching here moving forward. All right, so there's the horn. He got knocked down by a punch in that round, but he is able to survive. We'll see if they can make some adjustments. He's as tough as they come. He took that shot and he kept plodding forward. He got off of his butt. He got himself off of the canvas and tried to get right back to work, but he cannot take many more of these. You don't want to be the guy that's testing how tough that your chin is. Ready to fight? Ready. Good. Here we go, third round of this championship fight. Back to the feet. Oh, that 
That one landed, yep. Oh, outstanding placement as he lands the knee to the body. Again, the taller fighter making noise with a knee strike there. Right on the button. He did a great job of blocking that punch. Well, at this point, hard to blame him for head hunting, right? He has caused some significant swelling upstairs and continues to attack that area to great effect. Absolutely. I mean, the guy has done a great job recognizing where he had an advantage, where he has an ability to separate himself from his opponent. He's done exactly... Oh, oh look at that. He left up and landed the diving punch to the head. tonight good work here by Tyson well he has got to be thrilled with this effort here tonight there was a lot of pressure on him coming in he has doled out a lot of damage landed a lot of strikes near flawless execution sometimes the hardest people to do what you expect when you're expected to win sometimes it's hard to live up to that expectation he lived up to that expectation and he exceeded it with such a great performance nice block What an absolutely crazy knockout here, and that's going to be a hard knockout from which to recover for his opponent, but the celebration is on one of the biggest wins in his UFC career. Massive win for this young fighter. He got the knockout victory. What a performance. Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at 1 minute, 35 seconds of the third round. Declaring the winner by knockout and still the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Iron Mike Tyson. Well, who would have thought that the former boxing champion Iron Mike Tyson would become